Hey, it's Matt. We're back here at Rock U today getting ready for Monday when we hope to have you guys back in the studio starting with our teen bands and then our younger teen bands and our adult bands soon after that and we'll see with the kids bands. But I've sent you a lot of information by email and I just wanted to make this video to show you what we're doing to prepare for your return. So, come on in. Okay, to start with, there's a few things that are on you. If you're coming to Rock U by public transportation, you need to wear a mask while you're on public transportation, but that's already the law for everybody, so that shouldn't be a problem. When you arrive, we're asking parents, siblings, babysitters, grandparents, whoever's here, to stay outside. No one but the students should come into the studio for any reason at all. If you have to go to the bathroom, the park's right over there and there's public bathrooms in the park and maybe the restaurant will open soon enough. Uh, when you come in, we're gonna ask you to use some hand sanitizer, make sure your hands are clean. We're also gonna ask you to wash your hands because that's more effective than hand sanitizer, but at least this way, anything you touch on your way down to the bathroom will be disinfected. If you're sick, you shouldn't be coming to rock you at all. If you look sick, we're gonna zap you with this digital thermometer and make sure you don't have a fever. If you have a fever, you can't come. One thing that's a change from the last time I communicated with you is we have decided to require masks at all times for everyone. It turns out you can sing pretty well with a mask on. It's not as big a deal. We will take a lot of breaks. You can take your mask off and go outside if you want to do that. But you're supposed to bring your own mask, but if you don't, we've got masks to supply for you. Now, thanks to everyone who filled out the, our survey about coming back to Rock U. If you haven't done it, please do it. We want as much information as we can about who's coming back in what bands and who is not at Paris at all and who's ready to come back and who's nervous. But the, other than saying that you have no concerns at all, which was the most popular answer on the survey and you're ready to come back, the next uh, most popular answer was that you're concerned about how we're going to manage social distancing in the studio. So I'd like to show you that. First, we don't have any private lessons going on. All the private lessons are, are continuing online, so the only people using this space are the band. So we've decided to use the upstairs space as much as we can. So we'll only be downstairs all together in the studio downstairs when we have to be. That's when everyone's got to play the same song. When we're learning our parts or practicing our parts, we're going to split you up. So we've got people upstairs and people downstairs. Most bands have at least one instructor and one assistant. If that's not possible, the instructor will run back and forth and just make sure everyone's taken care of. But we set up a piano, an acoustic guitar, and an electric guitar in the main chill space. And over here in the lesson room that we're not using, we have drums, bass, and guitar as well. Oh, sorry, you just come on in. And uh, the bass and the guitar must be downstairs, so I'll have to put those, make sure they're in place in time. But we'll put you upstairs as much as possible using these spaces. Let me take you downstairs and show you what our physical and social distancing looks like downstairs. So one thing you need to know before we head downstairs is normally Rock U is cleaned every other day, but now once we reopen and until further notice, we're gonna have it cleaned every day and disinfected every day. And this is done by a professional cleaning crew that comes every morning. This cleaning crew uh, also works in some of the local bilingual schools. So if you're here at six in the morning, you might actually see a familiar face or two, but I don't think you're gonna be here at six in the morning. We also had our air conditioners completely professionally serviced and cleaned. So everything is spotless. There's nothing in here. There's nobody, there hasn't been anybody in here for two months anyway. Okay, we're downstairs in the Rock U studio and now you can see how we're gonna do distancing. If you look on the floor, we've made all these zones and we've marked off a meter radius space for everyone in the band. The drummer has a, a meter, a circle with a meter radius. The bass player has, has a circle. We've got one for the keyboard. We've got two for the guitarists and singers. We've got one that could be here for a second keyboard or a second bass player or a second guitarist. Plus we've got a space for the instructor near the soundboard. We even have a spare space if we need it for someone right here to stand and either play guitar or something else. The point is, Everyone, once they're down here, once they've washed their hands, once they've taken their position, they actually have a two meter space between the next person. They have a full meter of their own and the other person has a full meter of their own of distancing. So we're actually doubling the required social distancing. Uh, we Plus also are masks. not gonna have everyone down here at once, as I mentioned. When you come downstairs, if you're gonna play the song all together, you play it a few times and then it's time to take a break, go back upstairs, even go outside or split up again so people can work upstairs and downstairs. So those are our physical distancing plans for the studio. We also, you notice the wipes are still here everywhere. After every use, everything that's touched is gonna to be wiped down. So if you use a guitar, we're gonna wipe the, the fretboard and the body of the guitar. If you use piano, we're gonna wipe the keys. If you use a microphone, we're obviously gonna disinfect every microphone and try not to share microphones at all. Uh, we are still wearing masks too, on top of that, drumsticks, those will be wiped down. 
So we've got that and that. The other thing that we're going to do is um, we are going to end every band practice 15 minutes before the next band comes. So normally, for example, if your band goes from 5 to 6.30, you're going to leave at 5.15. The reason why is because there's another band coming after you, and some of you may not realize, but behind this curtain, oh, it's not locked. <laughs> we have a space out into a public space in the building, a common space in the building. So we're going to ventilate the studio upstairs and downstairs. The teachers and the students are going to wipe down once more everything that was touched, including handrails, doorknobs, and so on. One thing I should have mentioned is, if you have your own instruments, you should bring them. That way, there's less stuff that gets shared, less material that gets touched by multiple people. So I should have mentioned that before. But the last thing I want to mention is, don't have it yet, but we'll have it by Monday. Some of you can't be here at all. Some of you are not in Paris or can't come to the studio for some other reason. So we're going to put a screen right here so that people who participate in the practices by Zoom can still get their practice time in. You'll have to be at home playing your own instrument with your Zoom screen on, on mute so we can't hear you because it won't be in time, but you can play along to what you're hearing in the studio. And we'll find ways through the up, use of the upstairs and downstairs spaces, through the use of the multiple instructors and assistants, we'll find ways to make sure that everybody can participate whether or not they can be here physically. The last thing I just want to say is when it's time to go, I know you guys like hanging out at the Rock U Studio. I like it when you hang out too, but you just got to leave. We have to get everyone out of here 15, 15 minutes before the next band comes in. So there aren't too many people here in the space. So we have time to clean and ventilate. And so that you're not passing each other on the sidewalks or in the room upstairs. So those are our protocols for keeping Rock U clean and for keeping you safe and healthy. Our, our rules are actually a little stricter than what's being expected in schools and, and businesses and workplaces. So hope uh, you have, if you have any questions, please by all means let me know and I'll be happy to answer them for you. We're looking forward to having you back in the studio to participate with your bands. If you can't come back, we're looking forward to you continuing to participate through the online resources we're offering, including the Zoom meetings, uh, making our videos and audio tracks, and we're going to keep on rocking until the end of this session. And if there's anything else you need to know, just get in touch with me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep rocking. We'll see you soon.